What's up guys? This is Lou for LD Fitness, bringing your brand new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a review of the Mad Spotters and let's see if it's the right fit for your home gym. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, before we get started on the Mad Spotters, make sure you check out my recent video, which will be in the description and up here. It is a garage gym gain session where we're doing some legs, baby. So hope you guys check that out and enjoy that. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and put some comments to help with the algorithm to push the LMZ Fitness Garage Gym lifestyle out to more people across the world, baby. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the mad spotters. And I'm going to show off the product, do some demonstrations, and give you my final thoughts if it's the right fit for your guys' home gym. So let's get started. All right, guys, we're in the LMZ Fitness Garage Gym reviewing the Mad Spotters. So there's two different types of Mad Spotters you can get. The first is the original version of the Mad Spotters, which is their very first design, which is right here, which, again, all you do is you would hook them up here and here on your barbell. So the reason behind the product was with their very first version is they are trying to give a self-spot to someone in the garage gym working out by themselves. You know, for me, I think... This is a great product because when you think about when you're doing flat bench, incline, uh, floor press, or shoulder press, you have to exert a ton of energy to get the dumbbells and throw them up. So then that energy is taking away from another rep you could possibly have in the tank to finish your set. So these are designed so that you get them at the top. So when you lift them off, you don't have to worry about throwing the weight up. It saves you energy. So it's really simple you know design is it hooks onto your barbell like this and what you guys would do next is you would get your dumbbells which they have to be with the design like you know these loadable handles where they have the knurling the regular handle certain adjustable dumbbells like the power blocks don't work because they're too bulky i don't want to steer you wrong but the power blocks do not work if you have a knurling type handle with your adjustable dumbbells regular dumbbells it should work fine if you're not sure you can always contact them on your on their website the new bells would work because they have the regular feel. I'm pretty sure then the Iron Mask would work then as well. But again, I don't have those dumbbells. I'm going based off the appearance and what I've seen. What you would do is you grab your dumbbells and then you would hook them on the end piece right here. And they would hang, you know, right here. This is this is set up for poor floor press. And you would do next is you would get your uh, straps here. These straps are designed to help secure the dumbbell. When you guys are doing your press movements and you would strap them in and then I would have to load up the weight with whatever I want to use and then you're ready to go so that is the original mad spotter hooks the other ones which are the newest version which I am gonna plug how they look on the barbell this is their newest pro version which if I didn't mention the price here these come in the original version come in, in a whopping 60 bucks. These uh, newer version come in at 70 bucks. And the reason behind it is because if you guys can see, I'll come up here. It's got this, this hook swoop type design to where it fits perfectly with the handles of your dumbbells, which I personally think it's a better design than the original one. Again, it was their first design. They're trying things out, see what works. I'm going to use these more predominantly in my training because it fits better with the dumbbells I have, which is my loadable handles. So again, side to side, this is both of the products. We have the original right here, which comes in again at 60 bucks. The newest version, the pro version right here comes in at 70 because of the new design, which you pick and choose which one's best. My opinion is based off of using both. This one is better because of the design. It fits better with my dumbbell handles. And before I do a demonstration using the Mad Spotters, if you guys didn't know, they do worldwide shipping on the Mad Spotter hooks, which is huge. And I'll plug here the information, which all this is on their website, which will be in the description as well. And also, they do a return policy, which is right here. I think it's 60 days. And if you don't like them, you return them, which is really important for a product because you could buy them and say, oh, man, I don't really like these. It, it happens. So I'm glad the company does that for you guys. So what I want to do is show you how these work in action 
so you can see what they're like and see if it's the right fit for your home gym because you notice it's a great a concept because of how space saving it is like when you take these off you can store them anywhere you know, I put them over here on my uh, my little basket stores nicely you know there's a couple cons at the end I want to show you guys but let's put these into action and let's see I'm gonna use an action here I'm gonna use the pros for my movements so let's get it Right, guys hope you enjoyed that demonstration so let's talk about my final thoughts again a breakdown this is the original mad spotters for $60 and the newest version the pros for $70 if I were to recommend which one to buy out of the pairs here is the pro version for 70 bucks because of the fact of the new design it fits the dumbbell handles a lot better my loadable handles fit a lot a lot more snug it just has a better fit compared to the older version especially you know if you have your regular dumbbells you know knurling type handles fit better in this new pro version but again if i were to give any cons i would say the con is on number one myself because the loadable handles are a pain in the butt to put on it takes me a long time to add the weight on for the mad spotter hooks this is again zero bash on the product at all it's a bash on me because i i went cheap but it's just kind of the price you pay for that and i would say it takes a while to get used to using them because when you're lifting off it wobbles a little bit and then when you're racking it, it wobbles a little bit, but it just takes practice to get used to it, and then you'll be fine. So overall, it's a successful product, a great hack to add to your home gym, a cell spotter hack, which I think takes away, you know, you have more energy on your sets because you don't have to worry about lifting off the dumbbells. And the fact, too, it saves your shoulders, which, again, shoulder stability, shoulder strength is very important for us you know, home gym uh, goers here. It's a product, you guys, I really think you would like to have in your garage gym. Make sure you use my code if you guys buy, buy the Mad Spotters. It's on my website, which is in the description. Yeah, I got a website, baby. On there is my Instagram. I've got my partners. Eventually, some merchandise, baby, some LZ Fitness gear to sell to you guys to help support me and the channel and some workout plans slash online coaching aspects coming in the future. But yeah, I got a new review coming in two weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Luke from LZ Fitness. We'll see you later.